inside to get outside, you just need to multiply by two, okay? All right, so that's on the circle. So again, in the middle, on the circle. So on the circle, divide by two, in the middle, the exact same thing. If it's not on the circle, but in the circle, inside means together, so you're going to add them and divide by two. So what do I mean by add them? You're gonna add the two arcs and divide by two, and that's gonna give you your middle. So if this one is 100 and this one is 20, to get the middle, you do 100 plus 20, which is 120, divide by two will give you 60 will be inside, okay? So if you're given, so this will be 60. If they tell you find this one though, you need to know one last thing, which is a straight line gives you 180. So you do 180 minus 60 and that will give you this one. So you just need to be careful as to what the question is asking. So on, divide by two. In, add them together and divide by two. Out, subtract and divide by two. And again, what are we talking about? The arcs. So what are you gonna do here? You're gonna subtract this arc minus this arc, divided by two, and it's gonna give you the out. All right, so on, in, out, but central is the same. When it comes to segments, okay, you've got like the cross looking one, which means the whole thing is inside. When the whole thing is inside, it's just part one times part two equals part one times part two. And all you have to do is just plug in the numbers. If it's outside, okay, if it's outside, you do this times all of this equals this times all of this. Now I'm gonna do that a little bit bigger here because it's the one you get confused on. So let me put some numbers. Let's say that this is six, 10, this is X plus two, this is five. You do this outside, out, out, this times the whole thing. So it's always gonna be the outside times the whole thing, which means you have to add the two parts together. So six plus 10 equals the outside, which is just five, times this and this together. So five plus x plus two. So five plus x plus two. And then solve the equation to find out what x is. Uh, what else? This one's just a special case. The only thing is here, the outside is also the whole thing. So it'll be this, this squared. So if this one is 15, It'll be outside, which is 15, times the whole thing, which is still 15. So it'll be 15 times 15. Okay, what else do you need? I guess we can do some random ones. Um, oh, if I have a circle and the diameter makes the inscribed, this is always gonna be 90. Why? Because this is on the circle, and then you follow the V. So you're looking for this. This is, 180 because it's half the circle so to get my inside it's divided by 2 so that will give me 90. Uh, what other random thing do I need? Oh this is another one of those questions. Okay. Last thing I think is the ones that they give you with variables. So let's say this is 20 and they ask you to find this so I'm going to put an x here. It's outside, so I know it's this minus this divided by two is gonna give me that. But I don't know any numbers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this X to say the arc measure from here to here, this way. The whole circle is 360, so from here to here has to be 360 minus this little part right here, which is X. Then you set up the equation. This minus this divided by two is this. So. 360 minus x, which is the outside, minus x divided by 2 equals this. And then you solve the equation. So multiply both sides by 2. This cross out. You're going to get 40 equals 360 minus x times, no, sorry, negative x minus x is minus 2x. And then you can, okay, so I'm gonna move the 2x here and the 40 here. So when I move the 2x there, it's gonna be positive 2x. If I move the 40 on this side, it's gonna be negative 40. 
So this and this is gone. So I'm going to get 2x equals 360 minus 40 is 320 divided by 2. X is equal to 160. Then I'm going to check it. So I'm saying X is 160. So that means X is 160. 360 minus X, which is 160, is uh, 200. And remember, I'm saying because this is out, it's going to be this minus this divided by 2 is that. So I'm just going to check it. 200 minus 160 divided by 2 has to give me 20. 200 minus 160 is 40. Divided by 2 is 20. So X is 160. I think, I think that's all that you need. Yeah. So, quiz on Monday. All right, so quick review. Don't listen. <laughs> quick review on everything circles that you need for your quiz. If you're talking about a central angle, remember it's an angle that meets in the middle. In the middle, that's why it's central, center. Okay, and that central angle is the same as the arc. So if you're told the arc measure, if you're told the arc measure is 100, then the central angle is also 100. Again, very important thing is that it's in the middle of the circle, center, central. Okay. Then you have on, in, and out, called inscribed angles. On, in, and out. They're all divided by 2. If it's on, it's straight up divided by 2, meaning if this is 100, to get into it, you get divided by 2 is going to be 50. If they give you 50, to get out to the...